Hello friends, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How are you doing today? Welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me. I'm here to start on this project that I talked about yesterday in my video uh, where I was getting my papers organized and my books organized and, and I showed you the books I was going to be working with and I haven't taken them all apart, but I've taken a few of them apart because I stopped after four and said, hmm, <laughs> I wonder if I could sew on these. I was like, there's no way my sewing machine's going through this. It's very hard. So I couldn't, I was like, I'll just try, but I doubt if it'll work. And I tried on the back cover of this first because I thought, well, if it doesn't work, it's just the back cover and I'll just have to take this thread out and I'll just have a couple holes there or dents or nothing. You know, I didn't know what would happen, but I couldn't believe my sewing machine went through. I just... You know, I tried on the Mother Goose book and it worked there, but I thought, well, that was really old, you know, older than these, you know, about 10 or so. Uh, some of these, some of them are, you know, some of them are 20 years older, I mean, younger than that Mother Goose book. So I thought, well, you know, maybe they just made softer cardboard back then or it was the age of the book. I didn't know why it worked, but it did work on the Mother Goose book. So, well, I'll just try so I did, and as you can see, I, I had I used white thread. I didn't really want to use black. I didn't want it to show up that much on this one. But I just, so I used white because I wanted the sewing, but I, you know, didn't want the dark thread. So if you can see the white thread here, I'm probably holding it too close. I'm so excited that it worked. <laughs> but um, yeah, let me hold it this way so maybe you can see really good. And I see I have a shadow there. It's daytime, but it's a little cloudy outside. So let me turn on my other light real quick. Maybe that'll help. Just a second. Here we go. Hopefully that will be better. But anyway, see um, see the stitching all the way around. It's really cool, and I love it. I just kind of went slow. Uh, not super slow, but a little slow to make sure. And it just, sure enough, went all the way around. That's the back, and this is the front. And I kind of started thinking about it because I wanted to, you know, I cut the spine off here. And even though I'm going to cinch bind these, I just wanted to uh, kind of give that a finishing look there. And also just kind of, you know, secure this because you're cutting, you know, I'd either, I felt like I either need to put some glue here or something to make sure. I mean, the paper wasn't coming off or anything up from the inside, but I just kind of felt like it needed to be secured a little bit. So, so that's what I did, and it worked. I sewed all the way around. So I wanted to show you. So, like I said, I've I've taken four uh, books apart so far. I had seven all together, and I told you I was going to save the spine. So I do have all the spines so far right here. This is a piece that came off one of the spines. I thought it was so cool. Uh, came off in one piece. It was from inside the spine, like a cheesecloth type of thing. So I might try to do something with that. I just thought it was cool. And here's three. Uh, let's see. Where's the other? I don't know where the other spine is right now, but I think I did four. Anyway, here's the spine. So cute. So I don't know if I'll cut them up and use the little, you know, creatures here uh, or, gra you know, graphics on something or use them as a whole I don't know, but I kind of want I want to use them in some way, so I'm keeping those handy. And then um, the pages are coming out. Now, in my video, I said something about I wanted to keep the page, see if the pages would come out together. But then I was like, oh, what am I talking about? I'm so used to doing signatures, I guess, right? I'm so used to doing signatures, I thought I was thinking I had to keep the pages together. And then they weren't coming out together, so, um, but <laughs> I don't need to keep them together because this is a cinch bound. And each page is separate and so they're not coming out together so they're they're kind of like this right now and they go I'm just gonna have to cut off a little bit it looks like um, probably the rough edge over here it would be the best thing to cut off just the rough edge from where I take where it's coming out of the book but I've got some of these and I want uh, to keep each book I want to keep this in the front because this was the front and it goes so you know of course matches you know, and then the back, let me see, the back match too. So I will locate the back. Let's see, is this one book? Yeah, yeah, this is one book. So here's the back. So I'll keep the backs with the backs and the fronts with the fronts. 
and then the other other pages I will use some of these pages and then uh, and then the others will be whatever I'll do with those I don't know yet but uh, I wanted to tell you I got my box cutter out I was getting ready to use my box cutter in here and I thought well I want to make sure to get I want to try to get the smoothest cut I can in case you're you've never done this before and and it kind of depends on the book, but I just tried to cut it with my scissors so I could get a smoother cut here and a straighter cut, straightest cut as I could. If you feel like you can get a straighter cut with your box cutter, then, you know, by all means, go for that. But um, I know how I've cut with a box cutter before, and it didn't seem like it was all that smooth. So for me, it does. maybe my box cutter is not sharp enough. Maybe I need a new blade or something. But I just use these scissors and cut straight up. And I felt like it gave me a pretty straight cut. So I feel good about that. So this is the, gonna be the first one. And so I thought, you know, since I sewed this one, I haven't sewn any others yet. And like I said, I don't like to do that many at one time. In fact, I really only like to do one at a time. So I thought, well, this one's looking good. Let's just get started with this one. So I pulled over some of my papers here from the dresser I showed you in back of me. And thought I'd get started with these so I do have to cut these like in half and the reason um, I, I thought eight and a half with eleven would be good is because basically I'm gonna be basically cutting these in half so uh, like I'm gonna measure so this book is gonna be my guinea pig to see how much I do need to cut off of these papers so um, so if I cut them in if I fold them in half let's see how it actually fits so they go, they go just barely over the edge here. So um, I'm going to have to cut them in half anyway. So I could, to save myself some time, like if I cut them in half like this, like, okay, I'm going to cut this in half. Okay, but then I'm going to have to cut a sliver off here and a sliver off there because it's going over a little bit. So... To save some time, I could, if that's the case with most of these, I could cut it, I could fold it in half. I know you know what I'm gonna say, right? Fold it in half and then cut, you know, a little sliver off. So then I won't have, take be taking time to cut two pages when I can cut one at, or two at, basically two at one time, right? So let me see. Feels like my paper cutter is not going through. I need to probably get my stool a little closer here and make sure I'm. I have to support my little table here sometimes. I'm pushing down hard on it. Okay, did it go through? Still didn't go all the way through. Okay, well, there's a resolution for that. Oh, it did go through. Just was hanging on. Okay. <laughs> I just needed to cut the last little piece there. So now I cut that little sliver off. Let's see how we did. You can see how they look. Nice and straight. Same size. And then let's just show you the book cover. See, they're the, pretty much the perfect length or width, I mean. See how it goes over just, there's the edge. So that's, that's what I'm going to do. That's that's the plan now. Okay. <laughs> See, I needed to kind of figure things out. And then as I go through and do the other books, you know, I'll be even faster at those because, you know, I've already figured it out with the first one, right? So I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep this right here handy so I can measure because I think these are mostly all eight and a half by 11, but what if they're a little different? You know what I mean? Because like these are computer papers. Do they make them all eight and a half by 11 exactly? Let's see. Uh, yeah, that this one is about the same. See, because these are all from different packs, so I don't know if they make them all the same. I don't have the covers or, you know, the package it came in. So, uh, you know, I don't know. I don't, I can't look at the package and say, oh, those are eight and a half by 11 type thing. So I might get my other paper cutter out here because this is not, 
It's not that my paper cutter is not sharp. I know sometimes it just doesn't like certain papers. <laughs> and that is weird, but that's how it is. Sometimes it cuts right through and sometimes it wants to give me a hard time like this. So let me grab my other paper cutter. Let's see how this one cuts. I don't know if it's because these papers are like, I don't know how long they've been around. I got them all. I got, I got these at a thrift store, all these computer papers. This right here, this I got at, at um, Ollie's. It was a paper pack that I had picked up at Ollie's. So, okay, that's actually the second, only the second, uh, that's the second computer paper, and the rest looks like I have. Now this, okay, so, I actually, this width is good, but it's actually going to look like it's going to be a little bit, you know, it could end up being too wide. So let me just see how this one cuts here real quick. But the rest of them, I may be able to use this with the uh, paper from the paper pad. So, and so it's not like, um, like I just kind of grabbed uh, an assortment of papers here. <laughs> well, <laughs> okay, Sherry. I grabbed an assortment of papers, but it's not like I'm using the all of these papers in this particular journal. I just want to get started cutting papers, you know. And then I will, that did better, didn't it? Isn't that weird? Because this uh, paper cutter I got at a thrift store, it's it's the Fiskars brand, and I've never replaced the blade. So I've only had it a little while, probably uh, four or five months now, but uh, sometimes it does the same thing. Sometimes uh, certain papers it cuts, and certain papers it doesn't like. So, yeah, I'm glad I have two different ones to try. Okay, so now we're good on this. See? it's. I feel like that's better width. Okay. So now we're on the... Let's see how my paper cutter is going to like these. Now, all of these have little uh, perforated tops on them. So I'm going to have to cut these off. But you can see how pretty they are. This one's cardstock. Let me grab... Let me see. Experiment, experiment, right? Let me see if my paper cutter will go through three of these to save myself some time. And it's not like I'm in a rush, you know, but uh, this is... I'm, you'll probably see this video on probably, I think, on Wednesday of this week. And today is Memorial Day, so I hope everyone's having a great Memorial Day. And I'll tell you what we have planned. But... Um, yeah, so, you know, I'm back to work tomorrow, so I'm always kind of like trying to make the most of my time because I don't have a lot of time. So, you know, if you, I'm not really rushing, just in case you think I'm rushing, I'm not rushing. I just try, I like to make the most of my time so that I can get what I need, to, you know, what I want to get done, you know, on my, while I'm home, you know. And it's so nice to have this today off. It's uh, so, so nice to have an extra day off. It's just, if you work every, you know, Monday through Friday, you know. <laughs> it's just, or you were, maybe you're retired and you, you know, you remember like, oh yeah, I remember it was so nice to have an extra day off. I think this is going to be too wide, so let me see. I think I'm going to have to, oh, I see. These are the, okay, so this is an experiment. We cut off that little strip. So we're going to see how much of, the where we folded these or am I going to need to cut off so this is um, sticking over that much you see that right here and I want it to not only be inside the cover but inside the cover a fraction just a fra little bit of a fraction there so not even a quarter of inch or anything like that just a tiny bit so I need to cut that off plus a little bit more off of this side. So now I want to see how this paper cuts. So I cut all of those at the same time. The strip that I cut off. So basically I'm cutting three. Okay, so that little strip that was sticking out plus a little bit more. So I'm going to cut off. 
here on the on this folded side, but I'm basic I'm cutting six layers of paper here. Oh, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna see how this goes through. See if my paper cutter likes this paper and <laughs> six layers of it. Okay. Ah, oh, see, now it likes this paper. I've cut this one just fine. See, it's not my it's not my it's not my blade. It's really weird how it works. Okay, so let's see how we did. And then I'll know because all the rest of these are from that paper pad. Okay, so yeah, that was a good amount. The width, can you see that? From the edge over here, the inside edge to the outer edge. And then I have this little extra here. And that's pretty much exactly what I wanted. So that's perfect. So now I can know how fast I can go and cut three at one time. Yay. <laughs> With this paper cutter. And except for this is cardstock. So this is going to have to be. Um, and I want to use this too. I'm not like saving it. Well, you know what? I could make some. These are all colored on the back. I could make some journaling cards out of this. I think I will do that. Save that for that. And then. But I want to use all this. I want to, you know, I buy these, these, you know, paper pads and, and, you know, I can't just let them sit. I need to use them. So that's all part of this collab with Deb Hauk, you know, using up our paper pads. And when I got, went to search for these, I was like, oh my goodness, you know, oh, I have this, I have that, <laughs> you know. So if you haven't looked at your paper pads in a while, look really look at them because you probably like me have more than you think you do because if you just buy one i don't buy a bunch at one time i never have gone in and bought like six paper pads or anything anything like that i've just bought um you know one two three i did four there let me take one out because i don't know if my pa my cutter will go through that many but yeah i just buy one here and there whatever i see them and um, usually it's not, I've never bought any for a particular project. Like I've never gone and said, oh, I have this subject. I need to find this type of paper pad. I've never done that. I've just, you know, keep my eye out. Like when it, like at Ollie's, like I said, I got this one at Ollie's. So I don't even go to, hardly ever go to Ollie's. But when I do go there, I'll check out their craft aisle and see if they have any nice paper pads. So that's that's one place, and then the other place I get paper pads is Walmart, and um, they I have bought them on regular price there, but I have also keep my these are too tall, isn't that weird? The other ones weren't too tall. Let me see, were they too tall? And I just didn't notice. They're right up to the top, but. Uh, I might want to cut a sliver off of the top of these because, you know, when you're using the cinch binder, <clears throat> well, but you want all your papers in there. This goes right from the top right to the bottom. See if it was uh, signatures, you'd want a little, little bit. You want it a little bit down, but when it's cinch binder, you start right here. If you're gonna do, I mean, you can do cinch binding different ways. Like I've done it where I just put this, the metal coils right in the middle, like right here, not all the way up and down. And I could do that with these, but I'm picturing them from the top to the bottom. So then I have to be careful about this but this going right up to the top and right down to the bottom could be a good thing with the cinch binder because then it will be grabbing everything okay I'm gonna leave those but they can't go over the top I hope you don't mind my little bit of experimenting here they just have to go within their boundaries and not go over the top or the bottom okay so that is good See, these books are perfect. And they're all the same size, so it was perfect for eight and a half by 11, except for the little bit that I have to cut off. Okay, so here's one for our next cut. Let's grab two more. And cut the little sliver off the top. 
with the preparation part. So it's Memorial Day, like I said, and uh, not not big plans, but usually on Monday nights, it's Monday, so usually on Monday my boys and my daughter-in-law come over, and so tonight, since it's Memorial Day, we're having a bonfire. <laughs> we're having a bonfire, yay! Well... It's yay, except, and it's fun, and it all has gone well in the past. It's just that um, uh, it's a little scary sometimes when you're building a fire. <laughs> and my boys um, tend to uh, like their like the fire. They like, um, you know, I mean, boys like bonfires, right? I mean, it's a thing that boys like, right? So uh, me as the mom, it's like, uh, make sure you have a hose nearby and <laughs> stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, we're having a bonfire. We're going to roast marshmallows and probably hot dogs, maybe. I mean, we usually do roast hot dogs. It's just that um, if the fire's too big, it's kind of hard to get close enough to roast your hot dog. <laughs> I know from experience. So sometimes it's better just to cook the hot dogs inside and then, yeah, roast your marshmallows when the uh, fire tames down a little bit. But yeah, it rained last night, so they're saying it's a good day for a bonfire because it rained and everything's, you know, won't be too crazy as far as lighting and burning uh, because we have a pile of, uh, like, tree, tree, trees, tree debris, I guess you could say, tree debris, and uh, that needs to be burnt. I just uh, know how big the pile is, and I wish it was a little smaller because the bigger the pile, the bigger the fire, right? So, yeah, it's a little concerning sometimes, but they've always managed before, but, you know, <laughs> like I said. So, anyway, that's happening later this evening, and I got all my work done on Saturday and Sunday around here so I could craft today. And then I'm going to, the only other thing I needed to do was uh, mow the grass. And I was going to do it yesterday, but there was no, I, the gas wasn't here. And the gas can that we have is super heavy. It's like a big kind of gas can. So my husband usually fills up the gas tank in the lawnmower for me. And then I go and mow the yard. But uh, the gas can wasn't here yesterday, so I could, and he wasn't here yesterday, so I couldn't even try because I looked in the gas tank and it was looked rather empty. <laughs> so, so that is the only work I have to do today. Okay, so these are all coming out good as far as the length. I just I keep looking. So we, we got through that pile. Here's what we have so far. A lot, right? Pretty. I'm going to intersperse now. We're going to have writing space on the back of each one of these pages because, you know, these are one-sided papers. So I'm not really worried about writing space, but I would like to have some ledger and some, which I didn't show you yesterday, which I didn't really think you need, wanted to see, but just a regular, like maybe some ledger or some writing, paper, you know, graph paper or, you know, papers like that. I might put some of those in here too, or at least I planned on it. So this um, is from a smash book. The last two I have. If I ever see, I've uh, the, whatever smash books I had, I found in thrift stores. And whenever I find them, I look at them. And if they have still have their pages like this, these are so beautiful, right? I love these. Um, I take them apart and use the paper because I think it's so pretty. So, but um, these, um, I don't want to waste any of this pretty paper. So I'm going to do these like this in half again. These are like cardstocky too. They're not they're not taper. They're more cardstocky. So they'll be like this. So you know it'll be like junk journaly type style with a variety of sizes of pages, at least a couple anyway. I might find some more that I want to put in as far as different sizes. But um, so these I need to cut. Let me see how my paper cut. I'll go through this. I don't need to cut any width off. I just need to... Actually, so I won't waste any on this. 
I'll cut these like this, so because these are not too wide, so we're good to go with these. Cutting them in half. There we go. So I just wanted to share the beginnings here, what I'm going to be working on. I I like to share as you know what I can on camera to show you the process, and then you know do I do a lot of work off camera, of course. So I'm going to go work on cutting because I don't think you want to watch me cut anymore. I just wanted to experiment with the sizes there in case maybe you're working on one and you want to figure out how to cut the pages and that you can sew through these books. Uh, at least I, my sewing machine did. I, ha I know I've said it before, but in case you haven't heard it, it's a Brother um, Project Runway. And so it's nothing fancy. Like not like like no commercial type sewing machine or anything. So um, I would just say if you want to experiment, just be careful and go slow. And if your needle won't go through, then stop, <laughs> so you don't break your sewing machine. But um, you know it's worth ex it's worth experimenting or at least trying because then you'll find out maybe that you can like I did. I had no idea that I could sew through a book cover. It feels so hard, but my needle went right through there. Like, no problem. It didn't stop at all. Just but like butter right through here. Don't know why that works that way because I know how it is with paper. With paper, it'll stop. Uh, if I get over eight pages, it just was like, it just doesn't want to go through. You know, it's the weirdest thing. But, um, okay, so that's it for now. I'll be back with whatever I'm doing next. I do want to put some pockets in here, so I'm going to uh, experiment with the paper on how I can do some pockets and then you can always add tuck spots and stuff too and if I want to sew on the pages I'll do that before I bind it but uh, I'll be back with that so thank you for watching today I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you next time thanks for watching happy crafting